gluing tarpaulin with B170 glue. Welcome. Today you're going to see how to glue tarpaulin materials. This kind of material is present as a coverage of the pickup cars, lorries, stands, and you may also, which is a very common, make waterproof bags, casings and other sort of products where the material needs to be elastic and strong. It is thanks to the way it is made. The upper layer is made of PVC, then we have a fiberglass net and PVC again in the lower layer. This material is easy to glue. I hope you have seen the previous film where I showed how to glue banners. The material that I have here is very similar to banner and you even, even say that it is the same. The only difference is the thickness. Here we may have the variety of colors, not only the white. And so we have cream, red, white, gray, black and you may also find a silver one. It is easy and aesthetically glueable. We may cut a few pieces from the roll, assemble it together and glue it on a piece, for example. You may wish you make your own casing or a small tent, and it is a very common one. You may use it for lorries to glue tarpaulin. You may fix any hole or tear, so-called smileys, and you may fix it with a thermal procedure, but if you happen to have that possibility, uh, you usually glue. It is known that the techniques are interchangeable and they are both an extremely strong joints. I will present how to glue two parts together. I will fold the edge uh, to do that. It is usually used when you wish to glue several parts together to make bigger parts. And I will also glue a patch in the same way. Should you have a tear in your surface, you can easily do it. To do that you will need glue, of course. In this case it is B170. Later we will need a silicon roll to press the glue part. Unfortunately, to this procedure you can't use a metal roll as it is a bit too heavy for that job. And what's the most important, silicon roll is much more handy and way lighter. All you need to do is to press a bit harder and you will also need a blower or heater, anything that will heat up the surface of the glued stitch. In this case I'm going to use a professional blower that could be also used with thermal welding or drying. Or the tape pa paper and the hold glue material during the process and a spatula or a brush. The spatula could be made of rubber or plastic and a small container, of course, where you will pour some glue. The bottom tarpaulin has already been installed on the table. Usually you will have to install it on your lorry, so you would not have to install it. For the presentational purposes I have smaller piece installed and two pieces that will be glued onto the surface. As you can see, the tarpaulin is a bit dirty. You will never have it clean when it's installed on the lorry. That's why you need to clean it first. I advise to use a paper tower and an isopropylene based degreaser in minor dirt. In case of serious dirt, wipe it with an acetone-based solution to clean the surface.
Make sure the water until the paper towel or the wiper was clean. So I will wipe it again to demonstrate what I mean. As you can see, the towel is clean, so a uh, surface is prepared for the next step. Make sure you leave it for some time for the solution to evaporate. I will clean the other surface and I will move to the gluing itself. As you saw, the surfaces has already been cleaned, the degrees are evaporated, I have poured some glue, now going to apply some of the glue onto the surfaces, in this case I am using the spatula. The glue should be applied on both surfaces, of course. <clears throat> Make sure that the glue is spread equally onto the surface. Some of the glue went beyond the material onto the table. But don't worry about that as it is PP board. However, if your table was made of wood or other material, you shouldn't worry as well. After it evaporates, it can be removed easily with a scraper and no reaction will occur whatsoever. Now I will apply some more glue, this time the other patch. Bear in mind that you apply the patch to the tear or hole, make the corners round before. From each side. You don't leave the edges of the corners pointed. I have left some of the material without the glue being applied just to demonstrate the strength of the joint. Having applied the glue on the patches, I move to apply it onto the tarpaulin itself. Certainly, you may wish to mark the place with a pencil or a marker where would you like to apply the patch. Having applied the glue, you need to wait a few minutes for the glue to evaporate. Just one more. It concerns the folded part and the patch prepared for gluing. It would be perfect if the fold was about 20 to 30 millimeters wide. The thicker the trampoline, the wider the fold should be done even up to 50 millimeters. However, 30 millimeters is considered to be fine. And the patch itself, which seems logical, should be 3 to 4 centimeters larger than the hole or a tear. Should you have a bow-shaped tear or a hole, you don't shape the patch to fit perfectly, you just leave 3 to 4 centimeters of extra material from each side. 
However, the shape of the part should be very regular, like a polygon, square, oval, or in the shape of a circle. Just make sure it has regular shape. If you are ready to glue the patch, you just apply it onto the tarpaulin with the use of a roll you press slightly. Remember to position the patch properly beforehand. Now I will glue this one. This time it is to combine the two parts. You can use your hands to press the patch a bit and use a roll to confirm the stitch. Now it be left for several tens or, or more minutes. If you wish to speed up the process, and it is advisable to do, especially when it comes to apply patches, you can use a heat blower or a burner that will increase the temperature. I set it to 200 or 250 depending on the conditions. If you decide to do it outside or inside, for example. Wait a few seconds and then you can proceed. So, heat up the surface and then use a roll after it has been heated up. The same procedure you apply to the second example where we have joined two parts and the technique is exactly the same as before, however. In both cases the patches are glued onto the surface and ready to use. The surface dried completely after several minutes. After that you may continue your work with tarpaulin, such as making a hole for the ring or other. Let's move on to the tests to show you the strength of the gluing technique. I'm fighting to tear the patch from the surface and, as you can see, the glue holds very well. You can observe a, a few leftovers of the patch while I'm struggling to dismantle it, and here as well. As you can see, the joint holds so much that the bottom surface is being torn away from the surface. The gluing itself is no different apart from the place of applying the patch. In the first example, it is attached to repair a tear, and in second one, you have to join parts to make them larger. For instance, it may be used to use a tent or other. So you may use the glue to fix the tarpaulin or to make a casing or other. What is more important is that the cost of such repair is very low. You don't need any expensive devices to do it. You may join it, any part you wish to join, as it's strong, it is the case of plastic welding. And you don't have to worry that anything wrong will happen with the surface, as the glue is extremely resistant to any conditions and will last for a very long time. But bear in mind 
that it is to be well prepared beforehand. So clean thoroughly. You can also use water from a pressure gun or any other solution so the surface was clean and dry. And degreasing, of course. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Remember to subscribe and visit us on Facebook. Do zobaczenia.